Good day, everyone. This is Monsi Serrano from the Philippine Business News. We're fortunate to have our Ukrainian friend, Sarah, who's now here in the Philippines for a short visit. While born and raised in Australia, Sarah has been very active in promoting Ukrainian culture through their national instrument called Banduras. Um, my name is Sarah Strashko, and um, my heritage is Ukrainian. And I've been lucky enough to come here to the Philippines to represent the Ukrainian culture and to share with you um, the national instrument of Ukraine, the bandura. Yeah. Speaking about your instrument, this has a lot of uh, history, right? Uh, you shared with us a while ago that you, uh, you you bring this with you all the time when you perform, and of course, uh, there is peculiarity about this instrument because when the weather changes, you have to do some retuning. Every single time I play, every single time you move the bandura, the strings get out of tune and out of tension. So while it is a high maintenance instrument with 61 strings. 61. 61. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, it is really worth it because it's so unique and it has so much history that is rich to Ukraine and it, it, it's a representation of how far we have developed with how far this instrument has developed and how far we will continue to develop. To develop. So Pandura is something that you can only find in Ukraine? Mm. Wow. I think in Canada perhaps you can find them. Because there are many Ukrainians in Canada. There's so but, many Ukrainians yeah, so, in Canada. But this is originally from Ukraine. This one is, yes. Uh, how I received this Banduro was from one of my close family friends, my auntie. She was in cash converters, so a pawn shop with her husband and they saw the bandura and when they saw it there they realized how precious and how hard it is to get so they uh, they bought it and gave it to me because they didn't have any children and it has opened up so many opportunities for me and it's challenging as an instrument to learn and I think I like a challenge so it's been a real pleasure to learn how to play. Yeah, I mean, you have overcome all those uh, obstacles of learning and uh, the, the rich history of this instrument. And apparently, this is the only in string instrument, 61 uh, strings. Um, uh, I wonder how do you play it? Can, can you give us a sample, please? Of course I can. I would love to. I'll play you a traditional piece. It's a song called Echo of the Steps and you're supposed to envision the Cossack riders riding across big fields of wheat and, and grain, so here we go.
Wow, lovely. It's like, it sounds like a piano to me. Yeah, or a harpsichord. It's very dynamic. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Bravo, bravo, Sarah. <laughs>